Well, good afternoon. I'm Brother David. I want to thank you for joining me today for Disciple Time as we gather together in community right here online to sing and pray the daily office together. And uh, today we're going to be praying the mid-afternoon prayer, which is also known as None. And this is coming from the book of offices and services of the Order of St. Luke of which I'm a member here in Mississippi. Now, this is done much like you would um, follow along with other liturgies in the church. There's gonna be on the PowerPoint here, words that are in regular font and words that are in bold. So I'm gonna say all the words, but I'm encouraging you to join me in the words that are in bold so that you can pray this with me today. And basically the way that the daily office works is these would be times throughout the day uh, that the church and the people of God would just focus their attention back on God. So they would pray it at three, at six, at nine, at 12, and so forth. Uh, and each one of these prayer times has a different name. And um, I mentioned that we're gonna be praying or singing the Psalter. Uh, to Psalm Tone 1. Now, as I, as I sing that, um, I will be using Psalm Tone 1. Uh, so if you have a hymnal, you can look in the back and you'll probably see that Psalm Tone and, and how that goes. But even if you don't, um, just listen to me, sing the Psalm. And then when we get to the end, in the bold letters, maybe by that point, uh, you'll feel like you have the confidence to uh, join me in on that last little bit there. Um, well, let's go ahead and get started with praying the divine office, the mid-afternoon prayer together. We begin by coming into a space of silence. So be still, become aware of God's presence within and around. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, hasten to help us. Glory to the holy and blessed Trinity, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy One be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Living, loving God, through your wisdom, the hours of the day move on, and there is yet much to do. Keep us in your care and renew us with your strength so that we may not forget you, nor be unaware of your love towards those around us. In the name of Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, amen. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Holy One, and they meditate on God's law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chafe which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Holy One knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. Glory to you, O Trinity, most holy and blessed, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the epistles. Let each of us look out for the interests of one another, having the attitude that Christ Jesus had, who, having the nature of God, did not seek to exploit equality with God, but emptied himself, 
taking the nature of a servant, becoming like us in human form, humbly walking the path of obedience all the way to death on the cross. Therefore God lifted him high, giving him a name above all names, that at the name of Jesus our knees should bend and our tongues proclaim to the glory of God Most High, Jesus Christ is Lord. Would you join with me in the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who came to set us free, let the shadow of your cross fall upon us this hour, that we may wonder at the gift of your redeeming love and be empowered by your Spirit to take up our own cross daily and follow you. Amen. Show us, O God, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. Bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I hope you enjoyed praying the mid-afternoon prayer of the Divine Office. If you would like me to share other prayers of the Divine Office, please put that down in the comments. Uh, if this is something that you're interested in seeing more of. Uh, otherwise, let us have a blessed day as we go forth in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Christ.